Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be talking about a project that automates um, creation of a cloud image that uh, uh, you know you can use in OpenStack, Proxmox, and any other place that you know you can use, uh, maybe like VMware as well. So this this basically creates a QCow2 image, and you can use um, that anywhere to create VMs. Uh, this image is a modified image. Uh, of the official uh, Arch Linux uh, cloud image. You can find more about this in the Arch Wiki. Now, this repo is uh, important for me because uh, I'm not just using the official cloud image that Arch Linux provides, I'm making some modifications on top of that. So things like my ZSH config will be installed that in, in, installed in that image. So I don't need to, you know, each time go in and install ZSH and configure everything, my base image will have it. Um, things like QEMU guest agent will be always there. Um, so it, uh, QEMU guest agent is basically for, um, you know, Proxmox to see what is the IP address of that uh, VM for uh, for each VM that you create and uh, many other things. Um, so these are all the settings that I'm uh, <clears throat> adding on top of the official cloud image that Arch Linux provides. Um, and you can find, uh, the list of packages and the playbook that I'm running inside that VM in in this repo. So the list of packages is over here in HTTP package list.txt. <clears throat> you can modify this and you know have your list of packages that you want. And in the playbook.yaml, you can see that I'm also installing a couple other packages like IP tables and FT, QEMU guest agent. I'm installing Ye over here. Um, I'm also installing ZSH along with the theming section. Right, so you can uh, look at this repo and you know modify all these settings uh, to your liking. And uh, basically, uh, I'm trying to automate this as much as possible and make this configurable as much as much as possible, so that you know other people can also use this. Um, right, so let's uh, try to build this image. So to build this image, you need to be in the root of this uh, repository. When you clone it, you need to be in the root uh, directory. And uh, what you can do is you can just run scripts, uh, create.sh, and then the username that you usually use uh, when creating VMs. So for this demo, I'll just say YouTube demo. And this will modify the user data file. So as you can see, just over here, uh, it just modified that file. So I'll come back to that. So it has just modified these three lines over here. Uh, so the host name is modified, the user is modified, and the change password list, uh, the username in this uh, section is also modified. So this is useful because I'm you know, creating a user inside that cloud image that will be always avail available. So by default, there is no user in that image. Uh, you need to, uh, when you use that image for cloud in it, then uh, cloud in it creates that user for you. Um, <clears throat> now, the user that is created does not have any settings, right? Basically, it's using plain bash. It does not have any packages installed by default. So I'm just creating that user and, you know, uh, setting up all the things that I need inside over there. <clears throat> so... Let's see if we, if I go back to the QEMU section, you can see that uh, Packer has already created the VM and you know changed the password. Uh, so Arch Linux asks us for the password to be changed. Um, this is not an issue because uh, I'll I, I have a temporary password in place over here, and once this uh, image is done creating, it will remove that password and I uh, you know only uh, SSH uh, can be used to, you know, log into this, uh, log into any VM that is running this image. <clears throat> so if you want to disable that, you, what you can do is you can, you know, uh, remove this line and uh, maybe also update this uh, default password over here. The default password is Arch password. So let's wait for uh, this image to be built. So right now, the SSH has been enabled on that temporary VM and uh, now we are seeing that Packer is trying to install Ansible and it's you know going through the playbook that I have created you can uh, obviously have a different playbook um, so yeah I'll 
I'll fast forward this so that you don't have to wait for this to finish. Okay, so that uh, image has been built and now what we'll do is we'll deploy this image into our Proxmox environment. So I actually already have a template which I'll be deleting. So uh, I've already tried testing with this. So I'll just remove this for you guys to see. Okay, so now that that template has been removed, I'll just run another script that will again automatically create that template again for me. So this will use the, um, you know, the new image that we just created. <clears throat> so if you look into this uh, proxmox.sh, so we are trying to SSH into uh, the proxmox host over here. We are trying to create a um, folder over there in the home directory and then we are copying the output of this packer uh, build command and uh, we are copying the uh, ssh public key that we want to have in the cloud init of that template so if i just hit enter over here it will copy the copy the qcow2 image that we just created And it will uh, create a template that will use that QCOR2 image. Okay, so now if you go back to Proxmox and reload this, so you can see it's still uh, a VM. Okay, now that that has been converted to a template. And if you go in the cloud init section, you can see over here that the user is YouTube demo that I specified. And, you know, we have the SSH public key uh, available here as well. So now if I clone this guy and create a demo VM, let's say full clone for now. So all these settings are copied over to that new VM, right? <clears throat> so now if I try to start this VM you'll see that over here you'll see the IP address of that VM and the good thing about this setup is that you know you can't uh, use password authentication you need to have SSH configured uh, and since we have already copied the SSH keys which are also shown over here uh, we can just uh, use the IP address of this guy and try to SSH into this so I'll do SSH YouTube demo and I'll paste the IP address that I copied. So it will ask me for um, verification. Yes, this is the right one. So you can see uh, that I have logged into my VM and uh, it has all the necessary packages that I want to have. Right, for example, let's say HTOP, right? So HTOP is really useful. So you can see that I'm logged into my VM. It has one CPU and two gigs of memory out of which 116 megs are being used currently. So that's not too bad. We can minimize this further, but yeah, that's that's all right. So for uh, maybe other uh, things, uh, so I'm also installing Docker, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, Docker. So if I do sudo docker ps, I should get an output. Okay, great. Um, what else? So we can also see uh, all the system CTL, um, you know, system D uh, units that are running. So if I do list unit files, status equals to enable. status okay so you can see all the um system d uh, services that are running on this vm so we have cloud in it we have docker installed we have pacman in it qemu reflector system d boot you know all these system d settings and yeah so you can go ahead and try this out and yeah, let me know, leave a comment down below and let me know how this goes for you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.